Hey everybody, welcome back to Talk to Ross. My name is Ross. How are y'all doing? So today I'm going to be reacting to the brand new song from The Darkness and it's called Motorheart from the upcoming album coming out in November I think called Motorheart. Yeah! I love these guys. I bought Growing On Me as a single when it came out. I bought their uh, album Permission to Land when it came out and yeah. I believe and I think I love just as the of my heart. Uh, good times, always a good fun band, and I really enjoyed their last album, actually called Easter is Cancelled. I really recommend it if you haven't done so. So, all that being said, if you enjoy what I do today, guys, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, please leave a subscribe. Um, join me on Instagram. Uh, there's lots of fun over there to be had also. And let's get ready for the darkness. Motorheart. Yeah! Oh my god what an intro the darkness just never ever disappoint from the kind of am radio guitar riff which is like their trademark um and i think that was also the ship from the i believe in the thing called love video if i am not mistaken the hawkins brothers and there we got frankie and then we got roger taylor's son who is called rufus rufus taylor that's the name yeah uh, he's an awesome drummer, just like his dad. Great intro. Phillips screwdriver to get her undressed. Oh, what I love about the darkness is they could have disappeared years ago when they were absolutely like like ginormous, gigantic, huge. But they haven't rested on their laurels. They keep on churning out these really funny songs, but not just novelty. They're actually fantastic musicians and very, very catchy songs, super well produced, great hooks, and I for one am very happy to know that the darkness are still around. <laughs> That's amazing. It's so many 70s overtones. It kind of reminds me of like Dan Dare. Uh, those old kind of, you know, teenage magazines back in the day. Like I wasn't, I'm old, but I wasn't around in the 70s. But it's a real cool kind of retro vibe. Almost reminds me also a little bit of the Jailbreak uh, album cover by Thin Lizzy and I know that uh, Dan Hawkins in particular is a huge Thin Lizzy fan uh, he was always wearing their t-shirts back in the day but uh, yeah I absolutely love this tongue in cheek great riffs that's what you want <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Is Motorheart like uh, Justin's robot lover or something? They kind of have these like tongue-in-cheek 
uh, references to like like a brush and um, cooking some eggs on a pan, like mocking that old reference, you know, a, a woman's place is in the home, which thankfully that crap is disappearing. And he even has a little friend, a little, <laughs> yeah, a little, little hen. And uh, I really do hope that uh, Motorheart is a hen, actually, not a robot. Let's see. Robot hen? Robo chicken? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's answered our question. Uh, Motorheart, she is a robot. We'll send her back to creator or just recalibrate her. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I love the darkness. I, I really do. In a in a world where everybody's just trying to be so cool and uh, so fake, here comes uh, Justin Hawkins uh, in a white vest playing a mock guitar solo on the side of a vacuum cleaner. I mean, more of that. I, I mean, you know, we, we just need more of this kind of tongue-in-cheek attitude towards life. I love it. He's actually beginning to look a lot like Steven Tyler from Aerosmith with the uh, with the moustache thing going on. But uh, let's see what this vacuum cleaner guitar solo sounds like. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That sounded so much like Freddie Mercury. It was frightening, actually. And uh, also the reference in the lyric saying, uh, she's my queen. Um, yeah, you can tell there's a queen connection to this band for sure. Yeah, I love the way Sandwich just, just didn't rhyme. And it was completely unexpected. Uh, I can't wait for this album. They never disappoint. They are fantastic. And what I've noticed about The Darkness in the last while is they've, they're have they getting more kind of a little bit metal. Like some of their songs, like even on the last album, there's a gallop. There's, there's a bit of speed to it. They try and cram as much as they can into the length of the song. Whether it's layering guitars. Um... I can hear keyboards in the background. There was a shuffle rhythm there just a little while ago in the song, a little bit of acoustic guitar. They just, it's like, how much can we throw into this sandwich? Speaking of sandwiches.
There was cowbell. I wasn't disappointed. There was cowbell. She's literally a love machine. She is a robot. Or a droid, should I say. Uh, I love the uh, kind of, again, the retro vibe. You've got the 1970s wallpaper in the background and, and it looks like the 70s TV or maybe what people in the 70s thought that, you know, TVs in the 90s might have looked like. Uh, awesome. That was awesome. That was bloody awesome. <laughs> Guys, that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I loved at the very end of the video, by the way, uh, where the robot motor heart, she has her little uh, carry on luggage <laughs> on wheels and she's kind of waving off. Oh, this album is going to be suitably ridiculous. And I have a funny feeling there's going to be uh, like an intergalactic theme to it or something like that but it's classic darkness i'm so happy they're back i can't wait to hopefully see them at a, at a festival somewhere here in ireland at the moment there's barely anything happening music wise it's a real shame and the government need to sort their shit out but um hey if i have to go up to england to see them or something that's fine but i absolutely loved that track it was classic darkness vintage darkness and as I said a couple of times already, we need them around. We need more darkness. Motorhar by the darkness. Uh, guys, I've been Ross. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, remember, check me out on Instagram. I'm also Talk to Ross on Instagram. And remember to click subscribe. A lot of you are not clicking subscribe, so please click subscribe. And there will be more videos. And you'll be able to keep in touch with me and see what's next. But for now. I thank you very much for stopping by, and I'll see you very soon. That was the darkness. Motorheart, I've been Ross. Talk to Ross. Take care.